Hi, welcome to Storytime with Gigi. Today we're going to be reading a story called Ollie and Moon in New York City by Diane Credencer. I hope I said that right. This looks like a fun story because there's actual photographs and animation or cartoon. Photography by Mike Meskin. Ollie and Moon are best friends. Ollie likes to laugh a lot, and a lot makes him laugh, especially Moon, like when she spins in a circle until she gets dizzy. <laughs> or when she and their friend Stanley compete with their funny lip sound contest. Ollie even laughs when Moon's not trying to make him laugh. Pickles and ice cream. <laughs> it's the Staten Island Ferry. Moon loves when Ollie laughs more than anything in the world. So when Moon joined Ollie on the ferry wearing the goofy hat she just bought, she was expecting a big laugh from him. Ollie didn't even chuckle. What's wrong, Ollie? asked Moon. Nothing, he said. Why aren't you laughing at my hat? She said, it's funny. Well, sure it's funny, but it's not that funny, Ollie said. Look at all the other cartoons that are on the Staten Island Ferry. Going by the Statue of Liberty. And there's Ollie and Moon on the end. I bet I can make you laugh, said Moon. I bet you can't, said Ollie. A handshake sealed the bet. Moon was determined to make Ollie laugh. I have an idea, she said. Follow me. And off they went. On the street, they walked by some food vendors. Moon searched carefully. Dumplings, fish balls, chow mein, fun. Aha, perfect. Moon found what she was looking for. She held up two fingers to the vendor. Ni hao. Ollie cracked a smile, but he didn't laugh at Moon's gags. Okay, she puts two things in her mouth and says, I want to suck your ketchup. Like they're hot dogs. Two hot dogs. And then she, achoo, sneezes them out. And he's like, gesundheit. What's that? What's that? I can't hear you. I've got hot dogs in my ears. Hmm, making you laugh and winning this bet is going to be harder than I thought, said Moon as they headed for the subway. Musicians were performing on the subway platform. Moon tapped her foot and Ollie worked his dance moves. Moon never danced. She was too embarrassed by her pigeon toes. But now's my chance to make him laugh, she thought. So he's singing, I'd rather have a hammer than a snail. That's funny. And look, there's the musicians, also cartoons. Hey, said Moon, watch this. And she tried out a few silly moves of her own. Ollie smiled and cheered Moon on, but he didn't laugh. So they boarded the train and headed uptown.
They stopped at the library because Ollie had a book to return. Moon seized the opportunity to try out her lion tamer, her lion tamer imitation. Moon thought she was pretty funny, but Ollie didn't laugh. Moon wasn't ready to give up, so they went on their way. Look at the sign here. Cheese through the ages. Moon hailed a cab. She's whistling with her fingers. Fweet. <laughs> Stanley, asked Ollie. No, I'm his cousin Johnny, replied the snail cab driver. Oh, sorry, said Ollie. Forget about it, replied Johnny. And then he added a funny lip sound, making a raspberry. It was the same sound that Stanley made. Moon joined in, hoping Ollie would laugh. But he didn't. He just smiled politely. Moon had an idea that was sure to work. First stop, 42nd and Broadway, please, she said. Silly snapshots always made Ollie laugh. But not this time. So Moon decided to call in the professionals. But the mimes didn't make Ollie laugh either. That's it, Moon huffed. I've tried everything I can think of to make you laugh. A goofy hat, hot dog sticking out of my ears, pigeon toe dance moves, my Siegfried and Roy imitation, silly snapshots, and I can't believe Johnny's funny lip sounds or the pantomiming chickens didn't make you laugh. I give up, Ollie. You win. And as she turned to leave, plop, what was... Looks like a bird got her. Plop, sorry. A pigeon pooped on Moon's head. A split second later, the same bird pooped on Ollie's head. Ollie started to giggle. <laughs> Moon joined in, snicker. <laughs> They both laughed louder. <laughs> and louder. <laughs> they laughed until there were tears in their eyes and their bellies hurt. moon you win said ollie now that was funny moon was so very happy to see ollie laugh even if it had taken all day she loved his laugh more than anything in the world and ollie loved moon's laugh just as much looks like the bird did it again and that's our story how funny. I hope you liked it. Make sure you like and subscribe and share with your friends. Bye until next time.